My name's Katie. I'm Sam. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Two Ghouls Podcast. There is no way that I'm that drunk. That I'm so scared like and I'm really high. That's bullshit. <laughs> oh, just stop moving the fucking flashlight! <laughs> and die. That's how you would die. Get Definitely infested. worse ways, though. But they only want to shove you if you give them permission. And his rib cage was protruding from his skin. Oh my god. I'm like, hey. Get in, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that little sucker sunk his fangs <laughs> right into my hand here. Like, no, no, but... <laughs> Oh, hi. Hi. Hello, <laughs> everyone. Oh, I'm not wearing a bra. I just realized. Oops. Welcome to the Grease Ball Podcast. Welcome <laughs> to the Grease Ball Podcast with your hosts, Samuel and Caitlin. Okay. <laughs> Tonight, we just don't give a fuck. <laughs> and no, you guys genuinely have to accept it. Because uh, it's, and that, that leads me to my next point. We're going to be taking a couple weeks off. We need a break. We're tired. We're still mm-hmm. going to be doing Ugg Mug Monday. So don't worry. Yes. You're still going to have the content, but we will not be doing live streams for a couple weeks. Um, we just, Probably two I, weeks. It's time. Yeah, only two look at, weeks. Look at this shit behind me. <laughs> this is a toy basket. Do you see all of this shit on That's the floor? That's what my room looks like if I were to turn the camera just a little bit to the left. <laughs> Listen, I can't hide it. I can't hide it. I have one option as to where my fucking camera can be mounted. And so in the background, you see jackets. These are these are jackets right Kitty here. Cats. A, a cat. Sorry. Right. Daria. A I bottle of, of laundry detergent and fucking toys mm. everywhere. Mom life. Mom life, dude. You should see my house. Oh my God. I could take you on a world tour right now. Let's go. <laughs> You want to see the kitchen Mr. worldwide? It's all solid, Mr. Worldwide. Oh. I've literally got <laughs> I've got pizza rolls on top of my oven right now that I have yeah, been yeah, yeah, snacking yeah. on for the. I past got curly fries. Oven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curly fries. Yes, nice. I'm so nice. excited. Katie got her hair Bye. done. I did. It's dyed again. It's still pinky, and it's a little bit dark at the roots, but that's because I just got them bleached. Yeah. Um, it's gonna fade out into this nice like rose gold pink, and I'm excited. What do you guys Beautiful. think? You'll have to Beautiful. let me know. Beautiful. Yo, Pinky beautiful. head. Pink head. That's me. Not I to mention, was, there was we, an old lady at the salon that was like fucking ready to go with me. She was staring at me every fighting. two seconds. And then I heard her when she was leaving. She was like, wow, guess y'all really do it all, huh? Pink hair and everything. And I was like, I'm not going to say anything because I know everyone in here. <laughs> I small town sometimes. I fucking hate going back home. Oh, my God. God. Everyone there is just so, I don't know. Uppity. I don't know. I don't, uppity, Nose in the air. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, Spencer says no fucks given. Thank you. She's the best. I love when that, Spencer chats. That, oh, damn. I really, hit, I really hit the desk. Speaking of no fucks given, today's topic we're doing a miss dump. We talked about yes. this a couple of weeks ago that we have a miscellaneous Google Doc where throughout the weeks, throughout the months, we go and we just dump links there that would be good content for the episodes yes. or for, for the podcast in general. And a lot of times what that leads us to is really concise and uh, really interesting topics when we get enough content on one specific topic. But then yeah. also what happens is we have a bunch of random shit that there's not enough to do an episode about any given topic. Yeah. Yeah. So then we decide we do the miss dump. And miss that's dump. what today is. Miss dump. We're like shaking out the, the shit it on them. <laughs> shit it on them. <laughs> that's what we're yeah. doing to you right now. We're shit it on them. <laughs> yes. Precisely. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Look, Spencer says, Oh, I hate when I get that look at the nail salon. And it's not like you can leave because you got your nails half done. I know my hair was I- literally one fourth of the way done. <laughs> I can't do anything. I can't fight for myself. I had to go pick up my oldest from school today. I had to go pick her up uh, because she was complaining of a headache and then ended up having like a a low grade fever, which I poor thing. This is her first year in public school. So she catches anything and everything that she comes into contact with. But I walked it. Let me just stand up and show you 
how I look walking in there. <laughs> oh, yes. I love the cat sweater that your mom got. Like the cat sweater. <laughs> I'm wearing the same shorts. I'm wearing the gray shirt. ones. I've got this giant. <laughs> I got this yes. giant pentacle on my leg. I've got my sleeves pulled up because I'm actually sweating. And the only reason why I have a hoodie yes. on is because it's what's clean and it's what's going to cover my titties to walk into the school. Yes. And so yes, I, got all of, I got all of this. I got fucking all of this. And I'm walking in there. Oh, not yes. only, hold on, not <laughs> only, not only with the tattoos, not only with the tattoos, but also my purse has Baphomet on it. <laughs> My only purse that I use. I'm probably like, who is this bitch? <laughs> and they go, oops, I'm going to need to see your ID. And I'm like, here you go. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is that I look <laughs> just like this in my ID, which is like great. The best. My God. I figured that was a, a funny story. But yeah, every time I walk into my kid's school, God forbid, the ice cream social bitch. There's like in parent teacher like, conferences. The Baphomet that lady's here, guys. That's like fucking <laughs> witch is here. Oh my god, fuck it. You know that's what they fucking say. I get some like, side you know, eyes. It. Oh, people see <laughs> me in the grocery. Eye. Yeah, people see me in the grocery <laughs> store with three children, and they're like, they give me the look as like those kids are gonna be fucking heathens, and I'm like, damn it's right they are beings. <laughs> like yeah, they are. Fuck off. <laughs> Good, stay away. Say something to Arrow because she's going to go like this. She's going to oh go. Oh, my. <laughs> she always looks so angry. She does that with her eyebrows. It, yeah. like her eyebrows cover her eyelids. <laughs> I love her so Anyways. Much. Who wants anyway, to I'll start. I'm going to talk about this fucking TikTok that I found. And right. I found it probably two weeks ago. And I was like, that is so random, but I just got to show Sam. So let okay. me take you to the Google Doc, everybody. Oh, and we're yeah. going on a trip. We're going yeah. on a trip. We're going on a trip on in a our trip. favorite we're rocket ship. ship. Yeah. yeah. Through the Zoom sky. in through the sky. Hey, little undone. All right. Yeah. What the hell? Are we going to get copyrighted thing. for that? <laughs> Most oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on. What? Today is episode... 69. 69. <laughs> eh, the sex number. <laughs> <laughs> Joey was like, wow, this is like your first big episode. I was like, Joey, what the fuck are you talking about? We hit like 50. What about 25? <laughs> he was like, no, 69 is the best. One. Wait till 420 comes around. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Where will we be? We'll be in flying cars at that point. <laughs> we'll have to go to fucking Colorado to record that one. Look at this shit. A man who calls himself I... pro-life Spider-Man oh. is currently climbing a tower in Phoenix trying to convince a young disabled woman to not go through with the scheduled abortion. I saw this and this shit gives me yeah. anxiety. I mean, not only does that give me anxiety, but you dumb bitch, let Look. people go get their medical shit done. They, you're not the parent. No. She's making a decision for herself you dummy and now you're putting yourself at risk and you're scaring the shit out of everybody <laughs> oh my god what an Fuck. idiot oh that gets, <laughs> i'm already anxious like, starting they like, never oh show god. anything i know i'm so sorry i i just made it worse that's all right <laughs> it's okay but um he's just a fucking idiot i saw that and i was like i gotta show sam this because i saw that baloney. I saw that I and can't. he's like up there and he's like, there's a GoFundMe in my bio. <laughs> if you want to donate <laughs> to this girl who doesn't give a fuck about what I'm doing. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I can't like believe that. what comments say. And somehow I'm still not convinced to visit that website. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the website to donate. <laughs> yeah. He became the very thing he swore to destroy. <laughs> the term abortion. <laughs> okay, I gotta get out of the comments. <laughs> uh, y'all already know our stance on the pro-life pro pro-choice shit so uh yeah just kind of do with that yeah, what there you is know. no I middle knew, ground I... here <laughs> no if you have your um, own opinions keep them to yourself yeah, bitch. <laughs> all right oh, look spencer at this TikTok. talk andre oh wait what does spencer say i'm not i just wanted chat. to say spencer said i love the kids names arrow and river lol oh. not a creep yeah my oldest is river my middle is arrow and my youngest is rain Yes. Yeah. And then I have Sunny. We have all the elements. All all of nature names. All of nature's goodness is our children. But they'll also be heathens when they grow up, apparently, yes. because we like Baphomets. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Andrea. Oh, your, your sound went out for a second. Oh, shucks. Can you hear me? 
Yeah, you're fine. You're good now. I bet you it was this thing. All right, so I'm going to play this TikTok, and it says, your dog saw it before you did. Can you try slowing down the video with contrast? So you'll notice the dog's reaction. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. I what think the that, fuck? Do you see that shit? What Ooh. is that? And it like, oh my God, what is that? Fire. Oh my God, what is that? And the dog totally was watching it walk. Yeah, before it smoked. even gets into the smoke. Yes. You see, like, I know there a lot of goes. people, I, I know oh. if Joey was here, he'd be like, that's just the smoke. But the that's dog is smoke. watching it before it's even visible in the yeah, smoke. Yeah, the dog is like, shit, what the hell is that? Like, that's he's watching him perfectly walk up to the fire. Like, at this point, he would be right about here, and there he goes. That's fucking Fuck weird. me. I don't know what that was, but thank you for the tag, Andrea. If you guys ever find a TikTok and you're like, oh, my God, I got to show Katie and Sam, tag us. Tag, tag us. Google's podcast. We'll throw it in. The, we'll throw it in one of these uh, these episodes and show everyone what you wanted to. We really us. should make a two Ghouls podcast Reddit account, too. That way people we can should. tag their Reddit account. And, and Reddit Hell yeah. Too. Oh, Reddit is scary as fuck. There's shit. Or, on you know, like um, if you guys ever want to DM a Reddit, a Reddit link, you can always do that on Instagram. Katie handles the Instagram, so you can always DM a yeah, yeah, yeah. Reddit DM link. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I was weird. That, that gave me a little weird. a little bit of a tingly. It gave me a tingly in my in my armpits. <laughs> <laughs> this is how dark it gets at night on an oil rig in the middle of the ocean. I'm pretty sure I saw this too. Ugh, I don't Fuck. like it. And the all right, I already don't like that he's that high up. Oh, disgusting! And it's so big. Man. The oil it's rig is huge. so big. I don't. Yeah. I don't like this situation either. Uh. Like <laughs> that's too much for me. I would jump off. Damn. Oh. Like think about all the sea creatures that are in there. Just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. That thank reminds you. me of when we were at Virginia Beach and and we were only there for what three or four days. Well, Dude, I was there for like three just, or like, four sit days on the balcony and just look out. Yeah, but then remember, I got really bad vertigo that lasted for like two weeks. Yes, and I was oh dizzy God. every time that I stood up. I felt like I was going like this for like two what? weeks, which has never happened in my that. life. Oh my God. Okay, I get that. Like a few maybe for like a few minutes i cannot imagine having that for weeks it was Fuck. constant it was constant oh it was the weirdest God. thing because i've never had vertigo in my life but mm. it was like when we were all hanging out on the balcony i could not look over the balcony because mm. i mm. felt like i was gonna fall forward oh my god yeah dude i was Terrifying. super high when we were all out there playing and I was tripping balls. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to look down. And I, if you notice, I actually had my back up against the wall because mm. Keith was standing nearest to the balcony where the back and his back was turned. And I was like, what if we all just fell right now? We're just what if the railing just fell off? But also like my dad, we were playing yes! heads up so much using my it. phone, using my fucking phone. And yes. so, you know, with heads up, you like, you get it correct. You go forward. If you, you would go, oh, no, oh. go past and he was taking instead of just going like this he was taking the whole phone and going like this <laughs> over the railing and i'm like i, I just bought that phone two really months ago go. please <laughs> do not throw it off the balcony don't drop it <laughs> yeah he really didn't keep going like this what are you doing are you joining oh hell yeah come on in it's a party oh We're hell having... yeah joey's I actually... joining that Oops. I, I would like to hear what Joey has to say on uh, on a TikTok that somebody else tagged us in. I'm not sure who tagged us in it. Was it the but one that I should know, or was it another one? It, it's a different one. It's the one about okay. Madeline McCann. Oh, yeah. I don't know who tagged us in it. What? But I really want to. I really want to show this. And when when I uh, when I watched it. I went to the person's profile and there were more videos and that was two days ago. So okay. there might be updates because I know oh, I'll get into it. I'll get into it. Well, I'll show the TikToks. This shit was crazy. I know. So, and like an update on the Madeline McCann case kind of, sort of, and we're hoping possibly. Holy crap, guys, if this turns out to be true, it's going to be insane. And even though I typically am pretty skeptical of stuff like this, even I'm starting to believe that this woman may be Madeline McCann. 
for those of y'all who are not familiar with Madeline McCann, um, it's one of the most infamous missing person cases in the world ever. Basically, a little girl in 2007, three years old, went missing while on holiday with her parents. Um, one person was a lead, a German child abuser, but it was never directly linked to him. Fast forward to today, this Polish woman named Julia thinks that she might be Madeline. And Madeline's parents have agreed to do a DNA test to, to find out. There's one feature that's really telltale, but basically this started when um, Julia's grandmother said something to her and she started doing a little bit of research. She also remembers certain things, um, little things about her childhood, like a teacher said that she wasn't there from the beginning. Her parents say, no, that's not the case. Whenever she asks her parents about her childhood, they kind of brush it off, try to change the subject. There's no pictures of her mom pregnant and the list goes on. But there are two actually big telltales. One is Julia was a victim of that same child abuser that we talked about earlier, the German one. Oh, but man. then there's also this. First, look at Madeline's eye right here. You can barely see it because it's not the best. Just also to say, we covered this in the Madeline uh, McCann true McCann. crime episode that we did. So if you want more information specifically about this birthmark in her eye you, and, and all of the details of the case, you can find it in, in that episode. Yeah. Because these, these pictures are pretty blurry. Best picture, but there's a little eye defect. Now, let me show you this. There's Julia's eye, a little bit more faded in this picture. Crazy. But it's definitely there, and I have what? an eye mark like that. Same eye color, too. Here they are side by side, and the resemblance is definitely, in my opinion, there. So Madeline would actually- Oh, yeah, that's her. <laughs> Joey, you I'm think so? that? That's scary. You Hot. think so? No, this cold case just got spicy. It did. <laughs> it I'm did. scared. Wow, what a what a thing to live through. What a, what I'm going to go to this guy's profile here in just a minute and see if there's yeah, any yeah. Like, He also believes that her parents lied to her about how old she really is. So this is something that I am definitely 100% going to be following. If you're interested to hit that follow button. Um, but I think that this- this could be really insane, and hopefully, this is Madeline, and she is very much alive. Oh God! Craziest uh, part, no. craziest right. part about yeah. this is that Madeline okay. McCann's yeah. parents believe that there is enough to do a DNA test. You know what I mean? Have they done it yet? I remember checking she, up. On I that. she was waiting to get the kit so that was on the 19th so let's see wait they have enough like there's a limited amount They're, of dna no no, no. they 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 oh, have okay. enough information or oh, okay, okay. uh okay. feeling like this could be her <laughs> to actually do a D dna test let's see oh my god uh i don't know that we just another watched. theory on that video i don't know looking at it for a while Maybe she looks like her. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she's kind of similar, almost like a like a secret sibling or something. Like a yeah, you mean like she doesn't look exactly like her? Oh, well, we grow saying, up and who? our features change. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> what? I don't know. A like a non-legit, unofficial, unknown sibling that pops out of the blue from a unfortunate situation or something i don't know well i don't know madeline mccann's parents are still together and they have been throughout this whole time she also has two other siblings she's got twin siblings that are still very or, true or they're probably grown up and, and moved out now but um well, yeah so i don't, I, I don't know it's not like they ever got divorced yeah oh yeah so here's the second part and then it looks like there's one other one or two other ones that i haven't seen yet so let's look at these. Okay. Well, I found out a little bit more information as to why this Julia person is saying that she believes she's Madeline McCann, and I figured I would share that with you guys. This apparently started with something that her grandmother said. Now, we don't know what that is, but it started her on this journey, um, which has led her to believe that she is Madeline. And there are some weird things here along the way. So first off, she wanted to get a copy of her birth certificate. Um, they wouldn't give her an actual copy, but they would tell her information over the phone, which is a little sus. Julia also Weird. says that she doesn't remember much of her childhood, but one memory she claims is very vivid is that when she was very little, um, being in a hot place on holiday with her parents um, and white buildings. Now, the apartments oh. that they were staying at at the resort were, in fact, white. She's also shared a number of physical attributes that she believes are similar to Madeline's. For example, first you have this eye defect, which is called a coloboma. It affects one in more than 10,000 births, so it is pretty very rare. Very rare. You can see it here. Mm -hmm. And you can see it here. Mm. Also, several other photos that I put on my Instagram page and gave a link to uh, Julia's Instagram if you guys want to check that out. She also says that the shape of her face, ears, lips, and the gap between her teeth are the same as Madeline's. 
Then there are some weird things about her parents. She has straight up asked her parents if they would do a DNA test, and they told her no. They just flat out refused. Weird. Then in the same regard, talking to her parents about it, her mother said that she refuses to talk about the past, to leave it there, and just to move forward with the future. And her father said, what difference would it make anyways if the DNA came back? He wasn't her biological dad. Weird. And then, of course, there's the alleged link with the German child abuser. And at this point, the McCanns have agreed or even, I think, asked to do a DNA test with Julia um, as soon as they're able to. And I was in one of Julia's lives earlier today, and I believe the DNA test should be there in the next couple of days. But whether we think it's Madeline or we don't think it's Madeline, um, the parents think that there's enough there for them to want to do a DNA test. So I guess we'll find out. And of course, make sure to follow because I will keep you updated as this progresses. Very interesting. Mm. I'm so, I'm so like, I'm, I'm totally <laughs> zoomed in. I want to know. I'm asking about when the DNA results might come in for the woman who believes that she is Madeline McCann. So I want to give you guys a rough timeline on that as well as some other small updates. So first and foremost, you can read the article title here. Madeline McCann's parents have officially agreed to do a DNA test with this woman. Now, this is not your standard forensics DNA. Mm -hmm. They're doing this through um, like Ancestry.com. And part of the reason for that, as I understand, is that the police in Poland are not taking her very seriously. And you are dealing with a couple of different countries here. I can tell you that according to Julia's backup page, she did place the DNA Ancestry test um, about three days ago. It takes a few days to arrive, so it should be arriving any day now. Ooh. At the same time, we don't know if the McCann's have taken the same test, if they have to order it, and how long it'll take. Usually once you do those tests, though, there isn't a rush order on it, so it could take um, a few weeks to get the results back. I Here's would assume another, that they've already done strange. it. Um, Julia's spokesperson, liaison, whatever you want to call her, appears to be um, a psychic. Their handle is like at Persian Psychic. Um, so if you want any press inquiries or talk to Julia, whatever the case is, um, you're encouraged to reach out to this Persian Psychic. Now, my personal opinion on that is that it does not help her credibility no. uh, to have everything going through this um, alleged psychic. Um, mm. that, though it could also be a situation, just playing devil's advocate here, that the psychic could be taking advantage of the situation. Mm, true. Side. And if you guys want me to, I can do another video on the psychic by itself and explain that situation. But I will say this. At this point, Julia has not asked for any money or anything like that. So I don't know what her scam would be if it was a scam. But make sure to follow if you want to stay up to date on this. And I will try to get you guys a few more updates out today on a couple other things. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. But that her, her like contact person being a psychic, that definitely mm -hmm. sounds like somebody is taking, taking advantage of Julia. Because like you said, nobody's uh, like she's not asking for money or anything. But, mm -hmm. you know. There's wow. another video here, but I think I'm going to skip it for now. If you guys want to go check uh, this guy's videos out, his name is Justin on TikTok. That's his, yes. his username. So interesting. I can't wait to see what ends up happening. Let's see. I think I'm going to stop screen Let's sharing. See. That's what Sunny says. Let's see. Do you want to do something? Yeah. Do me? Let me All see right. what I got here. I'm going to go pee really quick. Go do thing. All right, guys. Let's go to the Google Doc, shall we? Yeah, so this this whole Madeline McCain. You got to speak up a little bit. This whole Madeline McCain thing. It's McCann. A, McCann. I don't know. What? What are your <laughs> thoughts on it? I don't want to say my thoughts because they sound really bad. I don't want to. Why? Talk what do you bad mean they sound really bad? Everyone here knows you're just really of, honest. Bunch of crap. Well, I mean, it's objective but, now. Okay. So I said, you know. This is purely just nonsense. This does not mean anything. I have no evidence, blah, 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 whatever. Um, so I think the two people look similar. How many times have you ever heard, because it happens a lot, a guy running around on his wife, and then 20 years later, this girl finds her sister that she never even knew existed, who's a half-sibling to her on sure. a DNA test. Because Columbama, you know, the eye condition yeah. is a genetic thing. Oh. And he it can be passed down to kids. probably a sibling, not no, Madeline. Can, is that what you're saying? Too. No, no, I'm just saying different theories. I mean, okay. I don't know. That That's where my head goes, is like a secret daughter from the dad that was a secret. And I that's know, why still happily married. I don't know. I, well, that's but a it's objective. Story I know. that's we happened a million it. times before. That's true. <laughs> I know. It's true. That's true. I don't know. I don't I know. I mean, I feel bad for even saying it, but I don't I know. Mean, at this point. I only say it because I've heard it a million times. Yeah. And 
I don't know. That would also make sense as to why the the woman's like, nope, can't give you a DNA test. Sorry. <laughs> well, it, like, it's really oh. interesting for me. Um, her being connected to that German child predator, mm -hmm. child abuser. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's the guy who said that he murdered Madeline McCann. Right. And so yeah. if she's alive... And this girl is also actually associated. Like she's not being told by this psychic, you have repressed memories and you were involved with this yeah. guy and you're actually Madeline McCann. And she's having some sort of psychosis because somebody's feeding her stuff. If this is all true, that would be an insane break in this case. Then how are her, how are her parents implicated? Not the McCann's, mm -hmm. but Julia's parents how are they implicated mm -hmm. in all of this right because if Where she is madeline from? if she is madeline mccann they're very aware they don't want her to do the dna test they don't want to talk about this let the past be the past what would it change if i wasn't your biological dad what would it change if she is they, madeline right they know not the biological dad i'm That's telling you I, i'm yeah <sighs> we'll see joey i guess we'll, we'll say it I'm going with the half sister theory. Uh, okay, I think it's actually her. I don't know. I'm going with the half sister. Oh, hi, Mom. Hmm. Maybe that, that makes what, me a bad name? person Jerry, right? for jumping to that conclusion. <laughs> but his name's Jerry, Jerry right? Jerry McCann. Jerry? I believe. I Jerry believe that's McCann. His name. So you're thinking that he had an affair on his wife with another woman and birthed half sibling, and that's why her parents don't want anything to do with the DNA yep. test. And that could be why she's technically younger than what Madeline would be right now. Yeah, Very true. She's technically younger. That makes sense of why her parents don't want to do the DNA test. Specifically, her dad doesn't want to do the DNA mm -hmm. test. Makes sense about birth certificate because if they actually listed jerry mccann on the birth certificate then she would see that that's not something that can be changed let's see i don't know joey that's a, that's a good theory well, i don't think that there's a lot then, of information to back it up but it's a good thought and no. i can see where it came well, from and then another thought you know the the eye disorder the columbama they said what one in ten thousand mm -hmm. what about one in ten thousand but with two people that look exactly alike, too. I mean, yeah. What that's... are the odds of that? I mean, I don't know. Ah, but don't then, know. like, you see that, and it's like, yeah, I see the eye, I see the mouth, but the nose is not right. I don't think. I think the teenager has that. a yes, more she narrow still had, nose. She still had a baby nose. She still yeah, had but a baby. The teenager nose. looked like her nose was even more narrow than the baby. Like she had a really narrow yeah, nose. Yeah, but when you grow up, I, like it does. I don't know. I can see know? the eyes Madeline, and kind of the mouth, but I couldn't see the nose. Like I'm just well, like, like, I don't know. It doesn't look like it. We have that baby fat. And so we don't have yeah. that like elongated nose bridge when we're babies. Cause I can look at River yeah. and I can look at pictures of when her of her when she was a baby. This is a little teeny tiny button nose. And now her nose looks just like mine. It's like, where did that mm. whole nose bridge come? come from very yeah true. it, it very grows true. Over i don't time. know well I yeah we'll, yeah we'll see i guess we'll see what do you have more opinions to add i don't know i just think no matter which way these test results come in there's some tea to be spilt i mean if it's a half sister <laughs> yeah. or if it's madeline mccann tea or if it's no bit. connection and these parents are like no we're controlling this girl and not telling her it's you like, know what's what going on with her life of itself. Exactly. like it's like no matter Weird. what it's like something something's not passing the smell test here yeah. <clears throat> yeah even if she's not madeline mccann or she's not related to madeline mccann if she does an ancestry dna she might find out something that she doesn't know precisely whether That's it's right. related to the mccann's or not so yeah all right what you got next caitlin I've got UFO stuff, and Joey's going to come in in a second. Sonny's doing something really bad in the other room. <laughs> Do you hear her? <laughs> <laughs> Joey, Joey was like, don't get into those. So I'm wondering what she got into. All right. So I don't know if y'all have been hearing, but there is UFOs coming around USA and Canada recently. Am I super loud, by the way? Perfect. Okay, good. 
there has been UFOs spotted and shot down in Canada and the USA. Shot down. I think shot down. You're not going to fucking believe me. But Joey told me this and I was like, I got to talk about this on the podcast. So I pulled up New York Times and this was written by three different fucking people. Julian E. Barnes, Helene Cooper, and Edward Wong. What's going on up there? Theories but no answers and shoot downs of mystery craft. <laughs> The U.S. and Canada are investigating three unidentified flying objects shot down over North America in the past three days. Now, this was written when? February 14th. So, Valentine's Day. So, this past Is that week. not, are they not talking about those like spy balloon things from China? They think that that could be what's going on, but the I've noticed that the uh, the U.S. specifically is being very hush hush about what they shot down. Apparently, there has not been any, any, revelation to what they shot down yet okay sorry for right. interrupting i'm just like no you're fine right. please ask questions militaries have adjusted radars whoops to sh try and spot more incursions if the truth is out there it certainly is not apparent yet pentagon and intelligence officials are trying to make sense of three unidentified flying objects over alaska canada and michigan that u.s fighter jets shot down with missiles on friday saturday and oh, sunday shit. The latest turn in the aerial show taking place in the skies above North America comes after a helter-skelter weekend involving what at times seemed like an invasion of unidentified flying objects. If you guys don't know what those are, what those are, they've been all over TikTok. Um, we actually shared it in Ugg Mug Monday this couple weeks ago. So if you want to know more about that, go ahead and listen. The latest object had first been spotted on Saturday over Montana, initially sparking debate over whether it even existed. On Saturday, military officials detected a radar blip over Montana, which then disappeared, leading them to conclude it was an anomaly. So something really random. An anomaly? Oh, that's an anomaly. A, that's an easy way to, to just for, <laughs> fucking forget about it. Right. Sure. Sure. The, sure, sure. 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 <laughs> <laughs> then a blip appeared over on Sunday over Montana and then Wisconsin and Michigan. Once military officials obtained visual confirmation, they ordered an F-16 to shoot it down over Lake God Huron. Damn. Huron? Huron. I'm sorry. I don't Hoorah. know how to say that. Hoorah. 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 <laughs> two, there are two big questions around the episodes. What were the craft and why does the United States appear to be seeing more suddenly and shooting down more? The question for me is... Why are we not going to investigate what we shot down? And I mean, am I the it's only like, one? Oh, it? it's dead. Oh, Fuck it. Like, oh, 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 just ignore it. It's dead. Like, why are we not investigating that? That's weird. I don't know. Uh, I feel like I can't talk about UFOs without going on a rant of just. Well, that's why I brought you here, bitch. <laughs> I have I such a good oh, article for you, Joey. Ooh. I'm so excited to read this oh, article for you. Whoa. I'm excited. There are no answers to the first question yet. And American officials do not know what the object were, much less their purpose or who sent them. What were you going to say? What? Well, and also this article isn't quite correct. If it's really? about the first, I thought it was the New York Times, so I thought for sure. Well, yeah, but United <gasps> States. Um, do you think they're covering it up? Is that press what you're saying? Press laws are as long as you get it from one source, well, then this you is can why publish I, you said it. You Even if the know... source is made up by yourself 10 minutes ago. You I said mean, you didn't know anything stupid. about the UFOs, but, but here you go. You're no, about to tell me something about No, I was about talking the about the, the balloon, the first thing. Okay. Yeah, that's what I, that's what yeah. I said. I was the, talking about the spy balloon. The government of Fort said they watched it for over 14 days over America before they shot 14 it days, bitch. What, what the fuck? I know what? that it was like, I know that it was in the Midwest and one got shot. Like it went all the way from the Midwest and then it got shot down in South Carolina. Ooh. Yes. And yes, they knew about it for 14 days before. They I didn't know that. And then the first shot they missed. Of course they they missed the first shot with a four hundred million dollar bullet. Ah! <laughs> what? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Me, if I ever like, work oh, for the government, crap. oops, I'm a cancer. <laughs> Jeez! Oh but my god! Who paid for that? that? Also, if, yeah. Well, and then Biden. you can put on your ten full hat and say well these were uh i think they were stinger missiles they were uh, essentially 
you, you don't really aim. You just press a button and the bullet finds it. Right. It's like it yeah, very, it. very, yeah. Huh. And it's like, well, if it's just a balloon, why did the you know computer guided missile miss? Mm. If it's just some Ooh. slow floating balloon, because the if aliens it was bigger fucking shit, they have bigger shit than us. And it, <sighs> it made it go the other way. Man, I feel like it's the like higher I am, like the more tinfoil I put on my head, and I'm like, let's go. That's down why some I invited rabbit holes. here. I Hold said, on, Joey's gonna be high. How do you say foil? <laughs> say foil again. Ten, ten foil. Foil. Ten foil. Foil. <laughs> How do you say mirror? Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Who runs the town? We're not going down this road again. <laughs> what do you call a female we... horse? Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> he won't say it. He goes, Mayor, for everything. What do you look at yourself in? Mayor. <laughs> oh my God. Thanks, King William. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to hear Joey go. King William sweatshirt tonight. God. He did that when he he actually hit his foot on a, a piece of wood the other day, and I was on the phone with him, and he was like, "Good grief!" <laughs> I was like, no one oh, says that. Right, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I need to like kick. I need I need him to kick the football, and I need him to fall backwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. Good grief! <laughs> that kills me. That's funny. Well, I'll stop reading that bitch because um, apparently it's not accurate. It's according wait, to wait, the, wait. The, the master over we here. New coffee. <laughs> what happened to our coffee? Oh no! Okay. Did she dump coffee everywhere? Did she bust open all of our Keurigs? Our little Keurig cups? Fucking a! What a mess that! Oh God! If she gets it in her mouth, she's gonna be bouncing off the fucking walls all Woo! night. Long. She's gonna have a good time. Well, Did you get her straight? What's wrong? Well, luckily they're K cups. They're not open, but out of the pack, I've found three. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> hey. oh damn! Dubai is populated in photos. Where does your state rank in the UFO uh, sightings? Maps shows more than 26,000 UFOs soaring through the skies that have been reported in the last five years. So okay, but that doesn't necessarily map. mean aliens. It just means unidentified <laughs> objects. I saw something. And Virginia. No, you can't, you really also, can't take Virginia them, only seriously. has 58 reported. Oh, okay. Can I make a comment yeah, about that. this site? Please. Look Please. at the AdSense <laughs> that they're making <laughs> off of this fucking one article. When you have there is twenty <laughs> different ads on this shit. I feel like I'm on LimeWire in two thousand two. After my Sadie, section. how does your how does your internet even handle pulling this up out in the boonies <laughs> because of all of the ads on this shit? Oh my god! So you can't take the UFO <laughs> sightings uh, seriously. I do. Well, no, because aliens. Well, because the criteria is public call-ins. Yeah. So if you Look, just, there was only two thousand. If I call in, in right now and say, "Man, I see something weird and silver flying around my house," <laughs> that's another UFO sighting. So I mean, you can't take that seriously. I thought I would add it in there for spice because I knew you were going to be like, "Well, that's not. I mean, that's not correct. Not necessarily that's aliens." <laughs> That is not correct. Actually, according to my calculations, that's why I invited you in here. Because you're very smart. And you know you shit. And uh, I yeah, love you. So you be real smart. I have uh, an article that, to, to go off of what Katie was um, Please. was talking about. But also, I'm really excited for Joey to hear this. I don't know if he's already heard oh, this yes. or not. He's uh, listening. He just went in the other room, by the way. Sunny. He's good. <laughs> I heard a ghost. Sunny. <laughs> I, again so this is from the guardian and it says james webb telescope detects evidence of ancient quote universe breaker galaxies oh boy huge systems appear to be far larger than was presumed possible so early after the big bang say scientists the james webb the james webb telescope has detected what appeared to be six massive ancient galaxies, which astronomers are calling, quote, universe breakers, because their existence could upend current theories of cosmology. The <gasps> objects date to a time when the universe was just 3% 
of its current age. So 3% of its current, current age and are far larger than what was presumed possible for galaxies so early after the Big Bang. So this is just saying I'm scared. they're oh way God. bigger, like exponentially bigger than what we thought was possible for something so close to the Big Bang. Because if you think like for several millions of years after the Big Bang, you're going to see little teeny tiny blips. These are whole ancient ass galaxies that are bigger than us, than our galaxy that have been around since the universe was at 3% of what it is right now. So this says, isn't that scary? Uh... If confirmed, wow. the findings would call into question scientists' understanding of how the earliest galaxies were formed. These objects are way more massive than anyone expected. An assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State University and a, co and a study co-author said, we expect only to find tiny young baby galaxies at this point in time. But we've discovered galaxies as mature as our own and what was previously understood to be the dawn of the universe. Please. The observations come from the first data set released from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, which is equipped with an infrared sensing instrument capable of detecting light emitted by the most ancient stars and galaxies while sifting through images dr erica nelson of the university of colorado boulder and a co-author spotted a series of fuzzy dots that appeared unusually bright and unusually red Redness in astronomy is a proxy for age because as light travels across the expanding universe, it is stretched out or red shifted. These galaxies appear to be roughly 13 and a half billion years old, placing them about 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. These would not be the oldest galaxies observed by the James Webb which launched in December of 2021. Last year, scientists spotted four galaxies that date to about 350 million years after the Big Bang, but these were far smaller. Calculations mm -hmm. suggest that the latest galaxies harbor tens of hundreds, tens, oh, sorry, tens to hundreds of billions of sun-sized stars worth of mass, putting them on Whoa. part with the Milky Way. Explaining oh the existence of such massive galaxies close to the dawn of time would require scientists to revisit either some basic rules of cosmology or the understanding of how the first galaxies were seeded from, a sm from small clouds of star and dust. It turns out we found something so unexpected, it actually creates problems for science. It calls the oh, it calls, no. calls the whole picture of early galaxy formation into question. Mm. Existing models suggest that after a period of rapid expansion, the universe spent a few hundred million years cooling down enough for gas to coalesce and collapse into the first stars and galaxies, uh, and that's when they started to form a period known as the Dark Ages. The discovery of such massive galaxies so soon after the Big Bang suggests that the Dark Ages may not have been so dark at all, and that the universe may have been awash with star formation far earlier than we thought. Mm. Uh, let's see. Saying that with the pace that... Um, hold on. Let's see. I'm, I'm scanning. Oh, you're fine. Anyways, that that's the the ending is just like a thank you. Very interesting. Wow, the whole I'm scared. It's creepy, Joey. Okay, Joey, scoot in. What do you have yes. to say? Yes, yeah, scoot your butt. All right. So essentially, how much older did they say the estimate of the universe is, opposed to what they thought it was? They didn't give a time frame. They said that the galaxy. So they found six different galaxies. Dating back to about 13.5 billion years ago, 
um, mm -hmm. and they look like they came about around 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, which would be fine if they were way smaller than what they are, mm -hmm. you know, because they're so mm -hmm. huge. They're on par with our galaxy. That's what makes it not make sense because they're so yeah, large. Because, because, hold on. Just I'm so, scared I need to do a quick fuck that there's I don't even want to other galaxies. But... It's already enough that I can't handle the fact that we have other planets, but the galaxies, <laughs> this is why I don't ever entertain space because it's, it's so interesting me. though, Katie. It really is. I know, but it sends me. I get so scared. Exponential. What does it all mean? Yeah. Right. Right. There's so, people yeah, out there that think that the Bible is the real, well, creationism is the real. So, reason. no. Uh, this sound, like uh, it... The way the article reads, it sounds scary, but it does. Because I listen, you know, I listened to this, you know, a couple podcasts about it. Uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. and they they said the previous estimate was like you know thirteen, fourteen billion years since the Big Bang happened, right? And they're like, oh well, this could mean it's actually twenty billion, which sounds terrifying, but it's like. Well, in the early 2000s, you jumped from 7 billion to 14 billion. Then the 90s, you went from 3 billion to 7 billion. And then the 80s, you went from 1 billion to 3 billion. It's like, you know, yeah. every 10 years, they, they their technology it. gets better. And they're like, oh, we have more science. We have more knowledge. We have more technology. So we can see more. So we know more happened for sure before we were here because we can see it now. Okay. We can discover it. We can, you know, whatever. <laughs> But this is actually super common for it to about double and, you know, their okay. guesses well, that makes every 10, 15 better. years. Like, yeah, sorry, it, well, it's just because. <clears throat> sorry, go ahead, Joey. I was going to just say that, you know, it's just because, you know, it sounds scary because they're coming out and saying it because it's a confirmation. You know, they can theorize on it, but until they have this proof that they've recently found, they can't come out and say it, even though they might be thinking that. They're like, oh, yeah. it's definitely fourteen <clears throat> billion, but we need some way to show, you know, show proof, or else it's just conjecture. So, you know, this right. just solidifies theories and stuff. But it, it's, you know, it's nothing crazy. It'll it happen just, again in it, a few it years. It provides more question, and and this is the thing that's yeah. so interesting about the James the James Webb Space Telescope is that it is seeing a lot more than what we've seen before, which is number one really cool yeah. number two really fucking scary because the universe yeah. is so vast so this is the first time that we've been given the opportunity to see as much as we can you know we have the hubble mm -hmm. we see we we saw a lot with that we were able to see a lot more than ever before with hubble but now that we have james webb it's totally different we're expanding past what the hubble right. was able to capture and with being able to see more we learn more. And so we have yes. our own um, theories and ideas of, as to what has happened when it comes to, to the creation of the universe. But then when you feel so solidified in, in that, uh, that belief that, I mean, I'm sure some people would believe it's a belief, but scientifically that's what I believe happened. I believe in the big bang, but you know, like you have something that comes in and questions the timeline of what you believe in, what scientifically people yeah. believe in. And it's like, okay, <laughs> this is raising questions for us. So what do we have to do? We've got to sit down and we got to fucking figure this out. How is this possible right. to have a galaxy that was created, you know, only five to seven million years after the big bang occurred that's this large is it that we didn't comprehend the the closing and opening of the energy after the big bang was it going a lot faster than what we thought it was so a larger galaxy was able to form a lot quicker and we didn't realize mm. that or was it that the big bang happened longer ago than we thought at the end of the day, we're still just a little teeny tiny blip. Uh yeah. It's the I worst. think in my I don't know. I think in my opinion, really, this article isn't even a telling you how old the universe is. It's really just confirming it has to be at least this old. I right. think it I think it was jazzed up, kind of clickbaity to make a you know sure. to get eyes on you the page. You know how it goes. But it, I think it's just <laughs> got my confirming view. like, well, we got to be at least this old. So, you know, now that we know that, we know to take the fork on the left in the road instead of the right. It's not like, oh, we shattered all of our science that we know as humans. 
So we have to go down this path. It's like, well, no, we now It did know come this. across like that. We it did. Well. I was yeah, like, it did. Oh, it, it, no, this, guess, creates, this, this creates problems for science. And it's like, no, y'all just what do you mean? I need to sit well, yeah, down and do the research. It, it like, you know, I don't know. It sounds scary. It's interesting. Gets you on the edge of your seat and it's like, eh. Just another Friday. You know too much. <laughs> Just another Friday. You guys know too but you much. Know, but you know what's also like kind of terrifying is that there's galaxies that are literally ancient that are just yes. as big as our galaxy. Yes. And realistically, mm -hmm. those galaxies, you know, probably don't even really exist anymore. The majority of what made up those galaxies probably doesn't exist anymore. But there were galaxies, at least six of them, in the past several hundreds of millions of years that were just as big as us that could have contained and people just like people. you and me on them. Yeah. No, not probably. <laughs> they they did. They did. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Definitely. hundred and one and one percent. Yes. Oh my God. I actually hate that. Because it makes <laughs> me question everything I've ever been on taught the simulation as true. theory. Oh God. Oh man, Joey! I think Sam? you okay. need to do that. You, you want to do the research for a simulation? We need theory? to have like a new series. Not at all. <laughs> Joey's thoughts. <laughs> no, I actually haven't read much into it, Joey's but it, I know I know the basis of it. It's interesting to think about. It's it is interesting, about. but it's not something that I it can is. fall too deep in because then I'll just be like, <laughs> "Can you fucking quit playing the game yet, please?" please? So <laughs> is is Sam like is Sam's just the name of a planet? And Earth is just oh my Sam god, just somebody else. That is some like tin we're foil Sam, hat bullshit. I, uh, la la la. That's la, la, where la. my brain See, goes. I'm on are crazy. Sims and I'm beside the junkyard talking to Phoebe Twiddle, and it's like an Hell actual god. person on Planet Sims, and I'm controlling them. <laughs> Just what like if we are our own Sims? Then why is what it when I'm playing the god. Sims I can't get Mortimer Goth <laughs> to fuck me? I love Mortimer Goth. He oh, won't I fuck me. I've Some never been able to get him to fuck me. Asexual. I always tried to fuck the Grim Reaper. <laughs> They're probably built like Barbies where they don't have like any. Yep. <laughs> like Kyle XY. Yep. Because that could also play into string theory of an infinite amount of universes where it's normal for them to I just can. be plastic. I Barbie agree with them. string theory. That makes a lot more sense than you telling me that I'm somebody's sim. You're telling me that somebody <laughs> made me like this? So you well, you're you telling me that string somebody theory, <laughs> then yes, because it has to be in one of the infinite universes because it's an infinite amount of universes. Therefore, it's every option you could ever think of. Uh, so, yeah. How many times has the person controlling my simulation gotten the blue screen of death because I've lost my shit? I would like to know that. Bro. <laughs> Bro, yeah. <laughs> when you think about it well, that way. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the blue screen <laughs> Go of Go check death. your save data. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For real. I wish we could pause and fast forward like The Sims or go back. <laughs> it's like speed it up. And then on. They're going to hit the restart button on us. <laughs> <laughs> go right ahead. It is, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> this makes me want to start going on a very, very, very deconstructive rant about religion. Oh, boy. And everything what? that I knew, but I'm not going to because our time, our you just time, want to talk about aliens. Our time is up. Our time <laughs> is up. What I need to do something like you have to do like the the anime Our time is I don't know um guys gosh um, no, guys no, can't watch it can't watch it I hate gosh. people that do that but I also love you I'm sorry I'm not really being mean don't oh. guys um, Joey, it's a quirky thing it makes me think of Blippy Joey's dying Wait, right now gosh my first old man noise <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like no one said old, I gotta people go, your old man noise people no. go fuck or shit and you're just like gosh you're like gosh. he's like a miss so and so ain't fucking dead yet so i can't say god damn it I'm not 26 did i go from 25 to, to 46 like very what briefly joey is not allowed quote oh. to cuss because he <laughs> promised gladys may i, I old... even just stare out the window on the front door just like yeah just hands on the hips and just stare out the window like <laughs> Not that old. <laughs> yeah. I always I said guess. you were like an eighty-year-old man in like a twenty-year-old body. Literally Whenever I use a ratchet strap, I said, "Oh, oh, what?" Whenever I use a ratchet strap, a ratchet strap. You know, <laughs> what? 
Whenever I use a ratchet a strap, strap, I always have to say, that ain't going anywhere before I leave. <laughs> oh, yeah, he goes, oh. ting. He makes sure it makes that ting noise. Oh, yeah, that's not going anywhere. Joey, I can literally paradise. see you, like, <laughs> standing at the front door in your boxers with, like, little bunny slippers on with a 7-Eleven coffee mug. Right now. No. No. He's wearing his <laughs> Right now. No. Look at this. No. <laughs> with, like, a 7-Eleven no. big gulp full of coffee and yes. a rolled-up newspaper in big the gulp. other hand. Just standing at the front door, like, yes. Today is gonna be a good day. You hear them birds <laughs> outside. They're tweet a little leap. <laughs> Shut up, birds. Gosh. That's what he. Gosh. Shut up, mayor. <laughs> no one knows who he's talking to. The mayor, or the mayor, or the mayor. <laughs> oh my god. Well, That's I'm gonna funny. go plan my over the hill party. <laughs> we do that for real. I've always loved those parties, like the black balloons. And like I gotta make it the, the cake 50 that's birds. like over the hill. Listen, there's like a whole I section. turned thirty this year. <gasps> Dirty thirty death to funeral to my I youth. Ninety three, we- baby. Bitch, Same right, age it's as done. My brother. I'm doing it. I'm doing the party. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nobody say it. every time you guys turn 30, we have to do an over the hill party. I think it's fucking hilarious. Over the hill's 50, I thought. No, no, no. no I know that. Death but it's to my funny. youth. Death to 20. Death to her youth. It's like a funeral. People do that now. Death to my youth having a 13. <laughs> You're <laughs> doing This is a trauma night, Joseph. Trauma, trauma. <laughs> trauma, trauma. <laughs> Oh my god. I love you guys. I had fun. I love tonight. you too. This has been a good episode. I told I, I fucking so. told you it was gonna be a good one. Yes. And guess and what? Like, we still got enough to do mm-hmm. another miss dump here soon. <laughs> yeah, we do. We have at least like for two or three more, like legitimately. Probably. Honestly. Oh my god. And I can always help out with the rant whenever you need one. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate, <laughs> appreciate it. that, Joey. We appreciate it. Genuinely um, though. Remember, guys, we are taking a break for the next couple of weeks. We still have not decided our date that we want to come back on the eighth. It's either going to be one one week or two weeks. One or the other. We'll let I'll you let know you know in the morning. morning. Yeah, like we'll make an Instagram post telling y'all when we'll be back and all that shit, you know, so you know we don't drop off the face of the earth. It's but, not going to uh, be a month. Know. It's either going to be one week no. or two weeks. Or two and weeks. that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it so before we go i'm gonna leave you with our merch and i'm gonna give you a promo code if you guys are interested remember this is the last week that you can buy our valoween merch okay we should do another we should do another promo code you think so like what how many how much percent how much can we give can we give 20 percent, or will it not let us yes i think we can I absolutely think I can. And uh, you know what? I think there actually is a 20% code on right now that I forgot to move from last spring. (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) Teespring. Let's go to teespring.com. I'm going to check behind the scenes real quick before I show you guys. Because I would really like for you guys, because we've actually had a lot of people that have been complimenting the merch. So, uh, and like waiting for payday and stuff. So, um, and, and we really love you guys and, and we love this merch too so if you want to get it really our I, would, favorite. I, I would literally love to give you as much person of uh, percentage off as teespring will let us because they will put a cap on on the yes. percentage that we're able to give they sure will <laughs> and i'm looking at it right now hold on just a second analytics no listings perhaps there isn't one I that says promotion. No, I'm not sure why, because usually it's pretty easy to get to. But I'll tell you what, I'll figure that out right as soon as I get off of this. What should we name it? Like, I'll, you know what? I'll just fix the one that we currently have to 20%. If you use code uh, live stream, you'll get 20% off in the next 10 if minutes. If Teespring will let us. Katie, make yes, sure that if. you go on Instagram and you post, because if it doesn't let you do 20%, just do whatever we'll do. the highest it'll Y'all let you just- do. Go to Instagram real quick, like in like 10, 20 ish minutes. Um, and then I'll then we'll let you know. But use um, code live stream, you. you'll get the you'll get the uh whatever yeah, and all whatever the merch. We have is. all the merch up in the shop, but this is the last week you can get Valoween. So go grab yep. some. Um anything else? Um we do I don't think so. Life just be life in. So I feel like you guys will uh y'all will understand that we're just ready to take a break for a week or two. Yeah. And we're still gonna do Ugmug Mondays. We already have a couple of episodes 
I actually think we only have one on the back burner, but we'll still actually be recording Ugg Mug Mondays while we're gone. Um, yes. If you guys want to reach out to us with any content, any ideas for episodes, you can always hit us up on TikTok. You can hit us up on Instagram. Please. Hit us up on Facebook. We've got our ghoul friends Facebook group. Uh, yeah. Literally oh. find us anywhere. Go back. Binge our old episodes. Yeah, that's it. I think go watch last go watch last year's Halloween episode. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. shit was so underrated. You guys are it's gonna laugh. Really good that. too. It's good as fuck. Um, and the Mad Libs made its first appearance there. So if yeah. you liked last week's Mad Libs that Danny did, you'll love the, the first year. Oh my god! Oh, so good night, everyone. Would you See like you to later? Say show her face. No. Okay, sunny. Say good night, everyone. Show her little baby foot. Bye. Let me see a baby foot. Give me the baby foot. Give me the baby foot. It makes me think of Squidward. Yeah. <laughs> his hand out, and then Joey puts his hand out, and they're like, "Ooh, <laughs> yay, yay!" All right, can, you, can, you, can you finish us out? Can you say good night, everyone? Good <laughs> night.